Hello everyone, it's Petko Alexandrov and in this video I'll be showing you how to fund your MetaMask account, what you need to be careful of, because the Ethereum blockchain is costly when it comes to fees and I will show you what is the difference if you buy directly from MetaMask or if you transfer Ethereum from external wallet or exchange. Alright, so I will share with you my phone as well, where I have opened my crypto.com app and this is where I have some cryptocurrencies that I use for trading and uh, usually the cryptocurrencies that I'm investing for a longer term I keep on my ledger which is a hardware wallet it's more secured and actually if you want to see all of my investments that I do and my trading you can check out my patrons page below the video and there you can access my cryptocurrency portfolio spreadsheet as well I give buy and sell signals every time I trade or invest cryptocurrencies you can follow along and support my work so right on this account i have 0.5111 ethereum i will tap on it and from here i can transfer it to my metamask wallet and i will show you what is the difference now if i want to buy ethereum straight from metamask i can do it so i will tap on buy and you see that I have two options, buy Ethereum with wire and then I have the option to deposit Ethereum directly. So let's see the first option, continue on to wire. This will allow me to purchase with Apple Pay or with card payment. So let's assume you want to purchase $40 of Ethereum which you will be using to purchase NFTs. Okay, now the current Ethereum exchange rate shows to be 4,47093. And if you look at the same time on my crypto.com app, you can see that it's 4,224. Okay, it's $200 difference and that's huge. So if you are purchasing a huge amount of Ethereum, you should consider such a difference okay and the better option would be to transfer ethereum from external wallet to metamask rather than buying it from metamask if it is a small amount there will be no such a huge difference okay so if i stick with the 40 dollars example you will see that i will have a transaction fee of five dollars and i will have a network fee of 28.48 dollars and i will be totally paying 73.48 dollars that's huge okay i want to buy ethereum for 40 dollars but i'll be paying another 33.48 dollars that is a huge fee for that amount but see something interesting if i increase the amount let's see i want to buy ethereum for 50 dollars you can see that I will be paying 83.45. Let's increase it to 100. You will see that it's 133.44. So the network fee doesn't change a lot when I'm increasing the amount. So if I wanna buy $100 of Ethereum, I'll be totally paying 133 with a network fee of 28.44. And if I go back to $40, I'll be paying the same network fee. So the network fee doesn't change. Pay attention to that. So it's not worthy for me personally buying 40, 50, probably even $60 because I'll be paying like 50% network fee. All right, even it's more than 50%. If I buy $60 of Ethereum, that would be a network fee of $28.38 and then transaction fee of $5. That's something you need to bear in mind. So let's take, for example, $100 and I will compare it with the other option to transfer from my crypto.com app wallet. All right, so we see that if I buy $100 of Ethereum, which is 0 0.02287734, that would cost me $100 and $33.18. 
okay so I will close that now and I will go to the second option where I can directly transfer Ethereum and this is my Ethereum address so now on my crypto.com app I will tap on transfer I will tap on withdraw and I will select external wallet and here I have saved the MetaMask wallet just before recording the video so you can see that it is the very same address FB77 are the last couple of letters and uh, numbers and the first four is 0x1f so I always confirm the first four and the last four so now I will tap on withdraw Ethereum on my mobile and it gives me by default $100 which you can see that is equal to 0 0.0234 which is a little bit more than 0 0.0228 right and this is because the difference in the exchange rate now if I tap on withdraw you will see that for this $100 I'll be paying fee of 0 0.004 of Ethereum and totally I will be sending 0 0.0234 and I will actually receive 0 0.0194 so let me go back and increase a little bit the value to $120 or let's make it actually 133 this is how much I was about to pay totally if I wanted to buy from wire right and I tap on withdraw and you will see that the fee doesn't change so if I cancel it and I increase it to $200 which would be 0 0.0469 and I tap on withdraw you will see a gain fee of 0 0.004 so the first conclusion here is that it's not worth it spending small amount of Ethereum because you will pay 0 0.004 anyway, right? So for example, if I want to send, let me switch to Ethereum, if I want to send 0 0.01 of Ethereum, which is about $42, and I tap on withdraw, you will see that I'm still paying 0 0.004 of Ethereum and I'll be sending actually 0 0.006. So I'm paying like 40% fee and I'll be getting just 60% of this $40 or $42.56. So for me, sending less than $100 really doesn't make sense because I'll be paying the fee anyway. Okay, so if I want to send $100 to my MetaMask wallet, I will tap on withdraw you will see that I'll be sending 0.194, my fee will be 0.004 and my total cost will be 0.0234 and I will tap on confirm, I approve it with my fingerprint and it says your Ethereum withdrawal request has been submitted okay, it will take a while before I see the Ethereum on my MetaMask account but one more time pay attention to the fees the costs and see for yourself is it better to buy it from metamask straight away or you better transfer it from external wallet buy on exchange and send to metamask all right so below i have the withdrawal which is pending if i tap on it i can see some details but Totally, one more time, I have paid 0 0.0234 Ethereum, I'm sending 0 0.194 and my fee was 0 0.004. And that was a cost of $97.60. Why there is a difference? Because while I was explaining everything, the rate changed and it was not $100 anymore, but it was $97.16. So while I'm waiting for the Ethereum to arrive, one more time I want to compare it okay I have paid $97.16 and if I want to buy that much right now using wire on MetaMask let's see if it would be more or less so if I am buying let's say $80 I have a total purchase of 114 so let me reduce it if it's 70 104 I will go down to 65 no 99 
No, I will go to 63. 97, 16. All right, so it's 62 point something, okay? I'm not able to do the point here. Okay, so $62, or let's say $63, I'll be paying totally $97, and I would get 0.0143 Ethereum, right? But sending $97 as a value would arrive with 0.0194 Ethereums, okay? So this is exactly what I wanted to show you. It's much better to send Ethereum from external exchange or wallet to your MetaMask rather than buying it from right over here because the network fee is higher and as well the exchange rate is worse. And this is by the time I'm recording the video, okay? It could be different by the time you're watching it, but I doubt about it, okay? So always look to buy from a cheaper place where their exchange rate is better. Okay, now let me close it and let's see if the Ethereum has arrived. I will refresh the page, not yet. All right, so be patient here, don't freak out and uh, just wait for it. I will pause the video and I will continue once it's here. All right, so I continue the video in a few minutes time and you can see that in my MetaMask wallet, I have 0 0.0194 of Ethereum, which I can spend now for purchasing some NFTs or if I wanna transfer them or if I wanna just keep them into my MetaMask, that's all right as well. And the new feature that they have is the swap option. So I can select to swap Ethereum for many other coins which was not available before. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have found the video useful, thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.